Oh, boy, that's a very tough question. Well, it won't be quick, I think. It'll take us some time to organize ourselves, try to figure out who was responsible for this. Although, I must say, by the way, that's less of a concern to me than it will be to a number of others. We know who most of the terrorists are. We may not know which ones did this, although they have to have been very, very well organized and very well financed. But uh, getting back at it almost is the wrong way, to, I think, to put this. Oh, that's what a lot of people will want. What I think we need now to understand is this really is a war with terrorism and we need to be prepared to act as if we are at war and that does not necessarily mean that you have to strike back only at those that you know were the perpetrators of this thing. Well, what does we, it we, mean? Know, we, know, we know a lot of terrorists around the world and we know a lot of governments that have financed and supported terrorism and you start with Osama bin Laden, I suppose, and you start with the Afghans. Well, but what, either, what, do you, what can what this, you do, Mr. Secretary? Well, what you, what you do, and this is, what you do is you strike at them militarily. I mean, I know this is going to sound awful, but my f point is there's only one way to begin to deal with people like this, and that is you have to kill some of them, even if they are not immediately directly involved in this thing. We do know that the Taliban and the government of Af Afghanistan has mothered Osama bin Laden for years. They need to be, they need to be hit. And, uh, either they need to be hit or they need to understand very quickly that they have got to stop supporting terrorism and then make it evident that they're stopping the terrorism. So you're not talking about a long, drawn-out investigation as we had with Pan Am 103 over Lockerbie. And, and I hope not. A long, drawn-out effort to extradite possible suspects. I hope not. That. I hope not, because if that's the case, well, you saw what happened with Pan Am 103. I mean, by the time it was all done, uh, first of all, many people had, had lost all interest in the subject. This is, this is an act of war. When they compare this to Pearl Harbor, I don't think they're wrong in the sense that it's a surprise attack. And I suspect, if we are wise about this, Pearl Harbor brought the American people together and made us recognize we had something we had to deal with. Perhaps this will do the same thing for all of us.